Deep down, I know I'm a fighter. Deep down, I know my desires. Everybody thinks that I'm just a liar. They don't know what I got inside ya. I'm not one to fight fire with fire. I'm the type who never lets me get tired. Mess with me and they never will find ya. Shit. Yeah. People tell me I won't get it. They don't know me cause I'm cold winning. Always in the ninth, I close in it. Always in my mind, don't know quitting. I'ma be the one that blows up in it. You gon' be the one that shows up missing. I'ma be the one that knows my mission. You gon' be the one with no ambition. I'ma make you take it, take it, take it all back. You ain't never gonna get me, man, I'm too fast. Call me the juice, that 40 yard dash. Always look for it, no, never look back. I just spit the truth, better listen to my facts. Get me up in the booth and I put them on a blast. When I spit the truth, they all listen to the facts. Got nothing to lose, so I put them in the bed. That's what I do, hard work, always last. And the pain's not an act. No, it hurts real bad, but you have to attack what you want to attract Or you're gonna look back and regret what you lack uh, Everybody knows that's a fact, yeah I just want my words to impact, yeah I just want my words to all pass, yeah Not sorry if I put you on blast, uh. They know just what they see on the outside They don't know just what I'm like on the inside If you knew what I could do, you'd watch your backside If you knew what I could do, you'd stay in at night I'm the type of dude you don't wanna fuck with I'm the type of dude enough is enough, bitch I'm the type of dude who never gets complacent I'm the type of dude who knows he's gonna make it, I'll make it Escape from my thoughts like a black hole. Can't escape from these thoughts and these assholes. Too many people feeling entitled. Too many people staying idle. Man, I work every day for the title. And I'ma get it, that thought is final. The way I think you could say is primal. Kill it, be killed, I'm your And rival. I don't lose, no. I'ma be the one they choose, though. You gon' be the one they lose, ho. Way too busy and snooze, bro. I'ma be the one to rise up in it. Never gonna fall, I fight till I get it. Always staying tall, got pride, I'm grinning. I don't really think I'll ever find my limit. And I know that they all wanna hate me But they see me on the climb so they wasty If I make it then they just might say B You been doing so good brother K. Lee I don't wanna hear your words, all the fake shit Now I want my day, wanted to be patient All the same people never been complacent We been working hard, man, we on the same shit I'm not just a sinner, I eat you for dinner I'm not a beginner, I'll paint you a picture I got a guitar and they play that shit every day No, I was not that great, figured out how to play Learned how to change to be learned how to rap And sing passion is everything Loved it throughout my team, 10,000 hours So I could be fucking king Hand me the ground, I just did, I'm a fucking brick know just what they see on the outside they don't know just what I'm like on the inside If you knew what I could do, you'd watch your backside If you knew what I could do, you'd stay in at night I'm the type of dude you don't wanna fuck with I'm the type of dude enough is enough, bitch I'm the type of dude who never gets complacent I'm the type of dude who knows he's gonna make it, I'll make it Before we get started, I have a question for my guy, Further AM. How easy was that win? Too fucking easy. You... I got one thing to say. Too fucking easy. You know it's too fucking easy. Too fucking easy. You know it's too fucking easy. <laughs> He's nowhere to be found. <laughs> you know that's oh, coming on right now. Right. Victory, cool cat. Victory. Victory is mine. Victory is ours. What is up, everybody? I want to see Go Birds in the chat. Oh my God, here he is. 
Period. All right. All right. But how are my guys doing? Halftime. AM. Sports rap. How you guys feeling, man? It's your time. It's sweet. It's no, it's another excellent. victory day, and we just whooped the shit out of the Giants. <laughs> Completely. I, I, say, I mean, Let's it was real bad. we really spanked the Giants real bad. Where we didn't even have to throw the ball; all we did was run all over them. That was Bro. crazy. <laughs> Sports rap. How about you? It's your time, man. Hey, man. I mean, let me say what's up to my man Tyree. We definitely go. Yep, fly Eagles fly. We definitely we about there. Two more wins, baby. Feeling good, man. I'm, I'm loving it, man. You know. um I just finally digested my pizza from yesterday. <laughs> so I had a good time enjoying my pizza yesterday. You know what I mean? Pizza um, party. Now I'm waiting to see the cowgirls go down today. You know, I'm enjoying it. I'm going to sit back today and enjoy it. You know what, guys? Cool Cat, it's your time, man. Go for it, bro. I just want to know where all the Cowboy fans at. Where are the Giant fans at? Where are the haters, the doubters, the critics that sat there with a straight face and told me, told everybody in this panel and everybody in the mama that my quarterback, Jalen freaking Hurts, couldn't win a playoff game. Huh? Where you mother truckers at? Where are you at? My quarterback is 60 minutes away from going to the Super Bowl. Uh-huh. You're damn right. I'm going to say it right here, right now. The Philadelphia Eagles are going to the Super Bowl. Yeah, I said it. Let's I go. It. We're going hey, to the Super Bowl. Print it, I got something to show it you. Chalk it up. Whatever it is you got to do. We are going to the Super Bowl. Because everybody in the mama got to come to the hood. We there. You know I just got to show We the ones. Let's go. Time. And why? And why? I gotta show and, cool why? and I got to show Cool Cat, man. Exactly. And why? <laughs> you want to know why? You want to know why? It's a Philly thing. It's a Philly thing. It's a Philly thing. thing. Throughout the room. <laughs> People said we couldn't beat you guys three times in one season. Three times. <laughs> time to get out hey. of the room, baby. And you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Their backups did better than the whole starting lineup. Let's just keep that a buck. Their backups did a whole lot better than their starting lineups. And people said we were scared. People said we were scared that we couldn't Man, beat them. You were like, eh? Eh? Jalen has to even have a chance. Eh? It's going to be worse. Eh? 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 And the New York Giants, they, they beat the Minnesota Vikings. And they're coming to win the face of Bank the Philadelphia Eagles team. We've been Man, I'm playing you. What's up, Drew? Hey, somebody Drew, up, oh. man. So Hello. everybody said how good that the Giants quarterback was that he, that he was going to run all over the Eagles. Yep, yep. The only thing he was doing is trying to get the freak up. Because he's been sacked so many times. This is what yep. they need to know. I know one thing. I'm going to need the cowgirls to worry about their game. And don't be worried about us celebrating. We're going to celebrate. We're in an NFC championship. I don't think the cowgirls can say that yet. <laughs> Y'all got to come to us. If you're the San Francisco 49ers, if you're the Dallas Cowboys, That's right. hopefully y'all lose. But if you're the Dallas Cowboys – you got to come to us. It's still bring a really it. thing. I bring think it. we got a blackout bring game. Bring the coming. Army, bring the yeah. Navy, bring whoever you want. <laughs> you got to come to the league. That crowd was rocking. Salute yep. the Eagles Nation that was at the game, man. Salute Y'all was rocking. Salute to everybody. Salute to Tom Stakes. Salute to everybody Lord over Lord there. Man. Man. Yeah. Bro, yeah. All the people that scored a Thank touchdown man. yesterday. <laughs> what a well-round power! I met, uh, on the team I met Thomas. I met. I met Thomas. Yeah, you met Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it was too. I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited. 
AM, you want to say it? AM, go for it, man. Man, you know I'm just you want to so happy to see the link rocking like it was. Everything fell right into place like it should have. This was a game where, which should have been the way it was. It should have been a dominant victory, just like halftime said all week long. This is going to just be an ass whooping. We're going to really show it. And all the people that were down and saying that we had no chance are the ones that I'm talking to right now because – I think we do have a chance, in the, especially in the NFC Championship game, especially because it's going to be in Philadelphia, and especially because we've already been there, done that. <clears throat> Philly thing. It's a Philly thing, baby, and we're just living in it. I got <laughs> question, everybody. Who is scared of the Dallas Cowboys? Who is scared of the 49ers? Nobody. <laughs> oh, my God, cool cat. Look at cool cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not All y'all got sat there with a straight face and said, I didn't win no playoff game. We got two words for you. Stop <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I want to congratulate y'all in person. <laughs> Coles. Coles. Okay, Coles. Okay. I mean, hey, how many rushing yards did we have? How many rushing yards did we have? It was like 270? Am I correct? 270? I think it is. It was either 265 or 270, something like that. Oh I know one thing. God. Talk about running somebody over. How about the uh did y'all see Jason Kelsey with the one arm? And, yeah, and yeah, we were talking about when it happened. <laughs> who were AK? I think it was AK who was like, holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> I was lagging behind by a play, and then I finally saw it, and I was like, no way. He just yeah, yeah, bro. That was crazy. And then did you see the, the stiff arm that Boston Scott had? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was yeah. – he was still on his feet. He was like, how's he on the ground? <laughs> it, it looked like we was playing with Pee Wee against Pee Wee League out there. Dude, I think we could have been – I don't think the Giants could have been beat a bunch of guys off the street. They were it was that bad. It was bad. It was it not ready at all. Nah. We tried to tell you, Giants. We tried to tell y'all. Y'all wasn't on our league. We tried to tell y'all that Daniel Jones had to play in the link in front of Eagle fans. We tried to tell you. And what happened? Nick what Sirianni. Happened? <laughs> What's up, Nick? Nick Sirianni. Sirianni. <laughs> Cole's in the building. What up? What up? He yeah, Coach has always been in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I asked halftime this. Who do you guys want to face, or it doesn't matter? I don't know. Hey, oh, I, hey, Mitch, who do you want to face? Who you want to face, Mitch? I'm going to ask you, who you want to face? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who we it face. Matter. I it doesn't care. matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I want the, I want the 49ers, and this is why. Because every – all year long – all these reporters are saying how boy, great boy. their Hold defense on. is, yeah. and I just want to go in there and spank the living daylights out of them. <laughs> Hold on. This is what Boys for Life texted me. He's, uh, it's a meme. Hey, I'm going to be coaching th the Cowboys through my TV this Sunday. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. I just don't. <laughs> I thought... We were not even gonna get this far. I didn't even think we were gonna go three, at all. fourteen and three, whatever it was. I mean, come on, man. He's fourteen a, and three. No, I couldn't say that. I thought we were gonna be fourteen and three. I I thought we were gonna be what eleven and six. I said. Yeah, I said eleven and six too. I'm right there with you. Right there with you. You know when this game was over, when this man caught the ball. When this man <laughs> caught the ball, that's when it was over. Oh, yeah. 
Like it was wide open, bread basket, money. Yeah. I mean, come on. And Dallas Man. Goddard, too? Dallas, Dallas Goddard. Goddard. It's bad. <laughs> Half time. Did I or did I not say Dallas Goddard? He's yo. Tone said, hey, this one's going to Dallas Goddard for a touchdown. <laughs> and then Dallas Goddard gets the touchdown. We get the ball back. I'm like, yo, Jalen Hurts is going to run it in. What happened, Tone? Jalen Hurts ran it in. We were over there calling we it, man. We <laughs> we <laughs> wow. <laughs> Me and Cool Cat were just too busy yelling, tweeting. We didn't call anything. We were just having fun, man. Yeah, it was back to back. Y'all book, bookies or something? Y'all bookies now, yeah. huh? Huh? So y'all are odd makers now, huh? Bookies. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you you would have hit off of us yesterday, bro. I'm telling you. Oh, I would have lost. How would I know? Yeah. You guys had called the play. You would have absolutely <laughs> won, even if I tied. No, it was funny because me, me and Tell was called it. I was like, you Yo, it, I called it. Eagles guy, baby. What's up, <laughs> Eagles guy? Eagles well, guy. Eagles guy. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I love it, man. I fucking love it. Dude, fucking easy. That's what's up. Bro. Hey. I love it. I had <laughs> um man, my my uh my biggest surprise yesterday though was just how we actually really put an ass whooping on them. I gave him too much credit, man. I you didn't know. know. I gave. I gave. I, when I predicted the score, man, I sat up there and said 28-24. I told I him that time we was going to stop them from scoring a touchdown to, to win the game. We gonna win it. I gave him way too much credit. They suck. <laughs> yeah, we all gave him too much credit. Come Dude. on, I said. I said it was gonna be forty-two to twenty-seven. Yeah, I said thirty yeah, to I ten. Too much credit. I said thirty to ten. Okay, I said thirty-two to seventeen. <laughs> I mean, we were all <laughs> wrong. That's what I said after the. We were yeah. on the one-year anniversary of us winning the uh, the NFC yeah, championship game, it, thirty-eight man. to seven. We got thirty-eight to seven. Congratulations, <laughs> Giants! You're in a complete company. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we just talk about? I want them to sh- to give Daniel Jones the bag. Just give him the bag. Give him the money. Give him the money. Yeah. Give him the yeah. money. Do you, you guys oh, remember? He sucked. In, uh, <laughs> 2017 <laughs> against the Vikings in the NFC Championship game. We won 38 to seven. Then too. Well, I'm glad you're here, man. Congratulations to all you guys, to all you Eagle fans. Um, I'm here. I'm I'm not depressed. Well, you guys look so depressed in your post game on uh, Mac the Giants fan, dude. I got a screen recording. You guys are just so bummed. Who me? Look like you were about to. Was I frustrated? Not you, but the rest. Okay. Yeah, no, the rest of them. Yes, the rest of them. And I mean, I understand. I, look, I understand. I understand. Yes, you know we pushed it up a lot higher, myself included. I talk my trash to Cool Cat to Mitch. You know that's why I'm here for my punishment. So, you know, <laughs> but yes, we, you know. And then when you push it higher, because you know when you come into the season, you know we weren't expected to be good. And then you know you started to do well, and your 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 expectations rose. I mean, it's natural. You know, I like like who was I speaking to? I think I was speaking to. I think it was Philly at uh, halftime yesterday. I said, you know, look, we're almost following in your model. You know, yeah, yeah, you, prior yeah, to that. So, that. you know, your expectations have risen. Same thing with the Giants Nation. I mean, that that that's what fan bases do. Sometimes we're, you know, a little a little bit more than what we should be. I mean, I get it, but that's that's part of being a fan. So Miz got out of hand though, coach. He said he's gonna come into Philly and whoop our ass. <laughs> Who said that? Man, <laughs> that's why I had to jump on over there because I just, just I was just looking, make sure, and yeah, I, I didn't have to say nothing. He was like already ticked off. I'm not gonna speak for another man of what they said and what they what they were going to do. You know, I mean, I can only speak as a general what the vast majority of the fan base what it looks like. But in the end, I'm here because I spoke my talk, and I'm here to to suffer my suffer my punishment. 
<laughs> so am I depressed? No. I think the New York Giant football Giants future is bright and the NFC East is back being oh, the, yeah. the, the division of champions and the rest of the league is going to have something to contend with. And I'm hoping oh, yeah. that the rivalries um, continue for a long time. It's just not a, a one time or a short time thing. You know, and that's all the teams, even the team that I cannot stand, I despise. I wish they would destroy that team and kick them out of the NFL. And that's that team from down south. So, and that's the only team in all my sports fandom I cannot stand and tolerate. So, but I still hope that rivalry continues and grows. And the NFL needs that because, you know, it, it's good for it's good for the NFL. It's good for football on all levels. Yeah. So, yeah, it's good fun. Now. So. Cool yeah. cat, go ahead, give it to me, bro. I'm here for it. <laughs> all right, you, all right, hold on. The you first said the first best comment. First things first. Y'all, I tried to tell every single one of you. You didn't have a chance in hell. I tried to tell y'all, but all y'all said was, eh, eh, we're going to walk up in there, and we're going to beat you in. Just see what has to say, Jeff. And we have to say, Jeff. And y'all are going to watch me. And then you just will have a better performance than stealing hands. Man, man, I need a blanket. We're going to shut up all the Eagle fans that's going to be at the game. We right now. Yeah. I told y'all so. I told y'all we are not the Minnesota Vikings. I tried to tell you, but no. Don't listen to little old cool cat. Don't listen to little old cool cat. I told y'all so. Daniel Jones right. was going to play in his first game at the link in front of the best fans in America. I told y'all that the Minnesota Vikings was trash. God awful. Justin Jefferson, I hope you're watching, asked for a trade. Dalvin <laughs> Cook asked for a trade. You didn't belong in the Minnesota Vikings. Everyone didn't want to listen to me. Anyone didn't want to listen to me when I told y'all, you're coming to the link. We own the Giants. We have a penthouse in the hills of New York or New Jersey or whatever the heck y'all play in. I told y'all, but none of y'all wanted to believe me. I want my props. I want my daddy rappers. Give it to me. I'm the man around here. Go ahead. All right, oh, I'm trying to tell y'all. Come on, Mitch. Come on, Mitch. Come on, Mitch. All right. All right. Hey, I'm not the guy who. I mean, them, man. Not, wait, how do I even. What, Cool Cat? What? We told them so. Oh, my God. Yeah. You have no fucking idea. And you sat up there last night and called me a bitch because I did not say anything last night. Bro, I was so <laughs> tired. My voice was man. gone. I could not say anything last night. I just want to go to Hutch and bed, bro. I just want to go to bed, enjoy my victory Sunday. It's not Monday. It feels like Monday. But um, we're here with the championship game. And here's the funniest thing. Your backups did better than your starters for the last <laughs> 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 Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones didn't even throw a pick until this game. That's crazy. <laughs> Right, right, and people are telling me that Daniel Jones was going to come up, that he was going to come up, fifteen touchdowns this year. Okay, all right. Our Good quarterback team. got twenty-two. Huh? Our quarterback got twenty-two. I know, right? I know, but hey, we got the win. We got the dub. I texted my buddy, who's a Giants fan, and he's like, "Dude, I'm struggling right now." I am struggling. Your offense, your defensive line killed us, especially Hassan Reddick. 
<laughs> what is Evan Neal doing? Can someone please tell me what was Evan Neal doing? I know he's a rookie, but it's Hassan Reddick. I sit back. But hey, good game. We move on to the next one. John, uh, Niners, Colts, boys, whoever it is, we're ready, bro. We're fucking ready. And words at AM is too fucking easy. You're damn right. Damn right. There Mitch, Mitch, I had one thing I want to say first and foremost, I commend you. Because you didn't you didn't take the bait last night when I was trying to get you to, to talk trash to me last night. Um, my <laughs> technique, my method was wrong. My intent was just to take my medicine right away. That's just really what it was all about. It's right. nothing, it was nothing personal. Yes. You know, I got nothing but a great deal of respect and love for you, bro. So, you know, I was wrong for doing that. So, and I apologize to you. Hey, it's all good. If I wasn't tired, I would have said, dude, it's Mitch. It's not bitch, it's Mitch. I was so tired, I had to go to bed. <laughs> I like that one. That was that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So I have to Mitch, you should have said it was just they you were just swamp ass. The goddamn <laughs> swamp ass. Bro, I forgot all about that. But hey, real quick. Shout out to my guy Earl Cole. Shout out to you, bro. You gave us a shout out for RW on Twitter. Shout out. You're my best friend for life, bro. Salute to Earl, man. Salute to you, Earl. I saw it. I uh, salute to Earl. Hey, y'all got a bright future. Hopefully, Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley is there. But you guys got a bright future. I commend you guys because. Y'all wouldn't be where you are if it wasn't for Brian Dayball and if it wasn't for your team, man. But you got to see if I was in your doing the same one because now it's payday. <laughs> well, here, I'm going to do one more thing for you guys. I, personally, this is my championship ring, my dynasty ring from my time uh, minor leagues and my pro with the team I owned. Um, back to back, three years in a row, and one national championship. Out of respect for you guys, just for today. I'll take it off. Oh man. Oh that's wow. big. That's big. All right. Go 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 and one Go last one. Yo, 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 yo. Derek. Derek. <laughs> Come here for real quick. All right, Earl. If you can't brother, set it up, brother. I'll do it right after this stream. If you can't set no, it up, um, I got it. Guys, I'm in the Eagles chat room. This is my brother who's an Eagles fan. I don't think they can see you. Okay, what's up? You got a pull. Yeah. Oh, you're on the phone. I'm not bad. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you I good? Just, good. No, I was just like, I was just letting the woman in y'all's chat room get in my, my punishment. So, you know, look, you know, like I said. I thought you um, were going to pop into unpopular opinions because he's live right now. I didn't get the notification. All right. I'll, I'll check on him. Damn. That's my bro. All right. Yeah, I was like, wait, I wait, yeah, I got a notification. I was like, wait, no one's here. Yeah. I got to get well, a no, hold of him too. Well, look, I, you know, I I was rushing around to do what I got to do to get on for you because I said I'd be here at twelve o'clock. You know, so like I said, yeah, I, look, I'm here yeah. for my. I was here for my punishment. Y'all got me. Respects to you guys. So, um, if y'all continue your celebration, y'all deserve it. Um, good luck next week. Um, the pressure now is intensified on you guys, so y'all yeah, better bring it home. That's all I can oh, say. Yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. You know, don't 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 think I'm gonna be rooting for you guys. So so I'm just giving that you to respect. Before you go, before you go, yes, sir. If you have to choose between us or the Dallas Cowboys, if they somehow survive this, who would you choose? You didn't hear what I just said earlier, did you? <laughs> yeah. We said he's not room for us, bro. No, 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 it's not even that. Like what did I say when I said about the division? He wasn't gone. I, I would destroy the, the that team from down south and kick them out of the NFL. I do not oh, yeah. like them. I I don't hate any other French sports franchise in any sport. I hate them. I hate them <laughs> to the umpteen. I don't like Jerry Jones. I I, I, I I can't stand them. A large facet of their fan base, even those that, that are in my family, friends who are who are fans of that team, sometimes they're they're beyond what I've even experienced as a Giants fan. So some of your 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 Eagle fans, even the old well, the, the Commanders fans, they're worse than soccer international soccer fans. Hey Mitch, I'll, I'll see you later. I gotta go charge my phone. I'll be right back.
Catch you later. See you in a bit. Yeah. So I hope that answers his pugism. I, I I don't ever root for them. Ever. Ever. <laughs> ever. Ever. If they could be all in whatever every year, you will see the biggest smile on my face. So if y'all have any Cowboy fans in here, yeah, I don't like y'all. Y'all get your team. I don't. I don't. I despise you. I'm not going to openly say I'm rooting for you guys. If y'all facing them, let's, let's be real. But mm, that team, nah, nah. Go ahead, Mitch. Go ahead. Yeah. I, I, I get it. I get it. I, I, I can't, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna come back. I'm not gonna argue. I'm gonna take it, bro. You have every right. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of this because I'm gonna put it on Twitter and be like, "Giants fans, you okay?" Thank you. I'll do that later. But uh, yeah, I commend so, you, coach. Understood. So, like I said, good luck. Y'all do what y'all gotta do. Have fun, and I'll catch y'all later. Right. All right. Okay. All right. Y'all be safe. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. I guess I'm not a bitch anymore, am I? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I don't yeah. know. You can't go to Broom. That was pretty good. But they play like swamp ass anyway. <laughs> hey, hey, I couldn't fucking say that. Why not? Um, all- so you can say swamp ass, dude. It ain't, you, you ain't going to get your feelings hurt. I know. <laughs> I know. They are swamp ass. There you go. But uh, <laughs> almighty, <laughs> almighty, what else do we got to prove to you, bro? What else? We oh, swept you off and we beat you. We're going to beat you again next month. I'm going to the game. So, like, what else do we got to prove to you, bro? Nick, he's a Knicks fan, just let you guys know. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out next month. I'm like, who, who are we playing? Who does he Nick, who does he play next month? Nick's fan. Oh, shout out to the Sixers, man. Got a dub down 24, and we got the dub over the Kings. Hey, hey, up hey, hey. Mr. Mike told me to tell you, man, he, he apologized for being off of his prediction, but he's <laughs> guaranteeing it's going to happen sometime. But Go ahead. The end of the no. season. Go ahead. Laugh. Laugh. Go ahead and laugh. Go ahead. All you circle jerkers laugh at us. Go ahead. You lost. Okay. Go ahead. Laugh. Hey, Go ahead. Listen. Hey, Jeff, it was real funny being in a whole bunch of Giants. And you guys all looking real depressed. Yeah. Well, I am depressed. I am sad. I am sad because you know why I'm sad? My season's over. That's why I'm sad. And I only can see my team play for seven, eight months. So. But yeah, but you made it. You, you made it to a second game in the postseason. Yeah, you. No, gotta, no, no football fan wants to hear about right now after you lose where you are. Uh, you know where you were after nowhere. Nobody wants to see that. But you, Jeff, and Bobby, you Bobby, see this? Bobby, I like you, bro. But we don't suck because I don't give a shit, Mitch. You can say whatever the fuck you want, but we <laughs> were not supposed to be here, and we weren't. So go ahead and say your little thing. Go ahead, go ahead, Mitch, because you were saying the same lame ass thing <laughs> last year. So don't say it. I wasn't saying it. At the same time, that at the same time and no, no. That. you probably did. You just don't remember. But at the same time, I'm sitting right here and I'm saying, you guys were the better team last night. I said it right on the street with you guys there. I said, you guys were the better team. And I was going to man up and come over here and say, you were the better team. You made, exactly you, and you made up. And that's what, I, that's what I like, Jeff. Tell your jokes. Go ahead. Because I wasn't the one that was shit talking a lot. I said my shit after the game because I was pumped up and excited. You did Same say, time. didn't you say Daniel Jones was going to run? Daniel Jones is a quarter, a good quarterback in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, but you said he was going to run all over the Eagles. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? He didn't. So I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay? <laughs> I was wrong. I was Just wrong. Saying, he, oh, the only thing he did right, was... Well, this is what I'm going to say to you guys. This is what I'm going to say to you guys. Y'all better not count this as just a victory. You better get ready because you guys got to win a Super Bowl now with how good you are. You better win a Super Bowl. That's all I'm going to say. Win a Super Bowl. So, but let me ask you. Guys, you I'm being serious. What's, what's, what's going on, man? Jeff, how you doing, man? I haven't. I'm, I'm not happy. Let's just say that. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. No, I think, I'm not man. happy because I can't stand losing to you guys. And that's the real. I can't I'm stand the- losing you guys. I'm so tired yeah. of being your guys' little punching bag. That's being I- real. Hey man, don't make us feel like we bullying y'all, man. We not no, bullying. No, because you have been bullying. You know? <laughs> Tom, Tom, first off, Tom, look, now first off, Tone, I want to say this to serious. No, no, seriously, I'm a serious matter, Tone. I'm glad to hear that you're doing that you're feeling better, bro. 
No, thank you on that. For real. That's, all, that's, all, that's, for, that's the most important thing because sports don't mean a goddamn thing as long as everybody's everybody's doing well. So that's the first yeah. thing I'm going to say no, is that I'm glad to hear that, that you're feeling better. Yeah, I mean, man. in terms of the football game, bro, we, we got bullied. You're right. You know why we got bullied? Because your offensive line and your defensive line kicked our goddamn ass the entire game. And I said, I respected your offensive line from the beginning. I said, you have the best offensive line in football, and you know what? You took our defensive line out of the game just like that. Your defensive line was all around Daniel Jones that entire game. You guys did an excellent job in taking away our strengths, and you exposed our weaknesses. And you guys made us look like a team that is still nowhere near your team in terms of competition. We're not. We're not ready yet. We are not ready to compete for them with the Eagles, Healthy, with the Cowboys, really? the 49ers. So, hey, listen, I, I mean, Kelsey, I'll take the joke. Kelsey I'm, manhandled that one guy when he pushed him down. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, he sucks. Pounds. Yeah. Kelly, Kelsey manhandled him. Well, he sucks. I'm just going to say that. Jo Justin <laughs> Ellis sucks. He's not going to be on this team next year. And I want to see what this team is going to be like next year because a lot of these guys that play in this game will not be Giants next year. There's going to be a lot of changes with the Giants. Well, I mean, you know, serious all upgrades. These, all these Eagle fans have praised your Giants. No, I know. All we right. did it last night on the stream. We said it. Just like I had Tom just you about got, to tell you. you. I just said, said it. Y'all are about a few few, few players away, man, in some well, key positions. No, we're, we're not. We're not. Honestly, Tone. We're not a few players away. We have we have so many depth players issues players too. Away. We have depth issues all over the roster, and Listen, playing simple starts on the line. Defensive line, you you had to do what the Eagles did because they were at, they were tired fast. You you saw their tongue hanging out of their their mouths because they were so tired, and it, and the game just begun. When me and Tone was there, right, Tone? We yeah. seen them, right? They're yeah. already panting. Yeah. Yo. That's why the Eagles have so much they can keep on going with different guys. If a guy taps his helmet, yo, I'm out. I got somebody else that could take his position. You can, yeah. and you guys got to get better at that. Yeah. But we we gave you giant fans, we gave you giants a lot of credit. We knew we were gonna pank you, spank you on your ass, and send you home. And you did. Time. You did. We knew that. Yeah, you did. You were absolutely right. And I told you that last night. I'm telling you again. You were absolutely right. But at the same time, don't be a fucking moron for people saying the Giants suck. Because how could we suck if we were an above 500 team and we made it to the second round of the playoffs? You Whether you like suck. it or not, when we were not supposed to be here. That's a kudos to this team and the progression they made from what we've seen the past 10 years. I'm proud of this team. I'm yeah. proud to be a Giants fan. That's why I'm wearing my gear. Even though we lost, I'm still goddamn proud of this football team. And I'm curious and excited to see what this team is going forward because we got a lot of decisions Almighty. to make in the off seasons. Oh, you you're just crazy, dude. You so Jalen Hurts is, is a trash. Jalen Hurts was terrific. Your goddamn quarterback is still picking himself up off the ground. Jalen Hurts was terrific. I can't even hurt Just to let you guys know, we still got a lot of uh, players to get signed. We have 18 unresearched free agents this offseason. Yeah, and then Jalen Hurts is expected to get a contract. Like the Eagles got a lot of work too in the off season. That's why I'm you guys have got to win the Super Bowl. That's why you got to win the Super Bowl. You have to win the Super Bowl. Hurts on that rookie deal because once he gets signed to a deal, all those guys that you were able to sign, they're gone. You can't keep them all. Yeah, I know. you got to win now. Yeah. This is your window right now to yeah. literally take advantage of the quarterback on the rookie deal. So. That's what we don't have the advantage of because if we do want to bring Daniel Jones back and Saquon Barkley back, that's going to take up a lot of our cap space because we don't have a rookie quarterback to go to. So you guys have the advantage right now, and I'm going to tell you this. And, like, you know, not hit NFC East crap, any of that stuff. Go out there and win a Super Bowl. This is because you guys are going to be kicking yourselves if you don't get it done. I'm telling you, you're all going to be in the same position I am right now if you don't win a Super Bowl because for you, it's Super Bowl or bust. And you all have to be honest with that. It's Super Bowl a bust for your team. For how good well, you I are. I'm going to be honest with you. I won't. As much as we could say that, and, uh, I mean, if you want to say that, that's fine. But to me, why it wouldn't be a bust to me, I'll tell you why it wouldn't be and why it could be to kind of back up what you're saying. So, for me, it wouldn't be a bust because I never expected us to even get this far. I had us winning. Um 11, maybe 12 games. I had us 11. AJ Brown didn't have us, you know, 
playing in the NFC Championship. I said, hey, it would be great if we could get one win. I didn't think 11 and 12 wins would get you home field advantage. So I was thinking, all right, get past the wild card. We see what happened. I never expected us to be this good that quick, um, how we did a good job of putting a team together. Um, so for me, that's why, to me, it would, it would be heartbreaking if we don't. But it wouldn't be a bust for me. But I could understand why it could be a bust because of the players that we have. And with all these contracts coming up, we may not even have this same team again next year. We may not even be able to win um, 14 games next year because no. of the contract. So I no, can understand why harder, some would we say it would go to bust because this is like your, your shot with this team. It may not look the same next year. Now, I got a question for Eagles fans. Who are the – Number one guys you want to sign, re-sign right away. For me, it's Garner Johnson, yes. T.J. Edwards, and Bradbury. You have to. You almost have to. You, have you to. almost got to sign. You definitely got to sign those three. Yeah. Uh, because you, if not, you going, your secondary is going to become weak as heck. Um, Bradbury and C.J. Gardner Johnson made big, big um, additions to this team. You know, and, and Edwards, psh, yeah, he's, he's lights out. Um, it's going to suck because that Kaiser probably going to be gone because they got to get N'Kobe Dean on this field, you know? What yeah. about uh, Sanders? Does that mean you guys are pretty much letting Sanders go? I, I don't am. know. It, Sanders want to come. How I think it's, tough. Want. it's how much money he want. That's what it's going to boil down to. I think Howie would keep him if he don't ask for too much money. But I think if he wants too much money, Howie ain't scared to let him walk either. Yeah. I think that's the problem with you guys. We have enough picks to go get another running back. Exactly. And I think the problem is, too, when you win and your team starts winning a lot, all those free agents become more expensive. So you're not going to be able to keep all these guys. You're going to have to make decisions like we are, too. We have a lot of guys we have to make decisions on, too, because we, we quote, unquote, played over our heads. And a lot of these guys are going to be getting more bigger contracts. So we have it, too. Saquon no. Barkley is probably going to get franchised. Daniel Jones is going to get his money most likely. A lot of these other players like Julian Love, you know, Darius Slayton, they're going to be gone. Nick Gates is probably going to be gone. I wouldn't be surprised if Sterling Shepard is gone. A lot of these guys that are on this team right now are gone. So we're going to have a lot of tough decisions too. Both of our off seasons are similar because you guys are mo- – I think you guys are going to have to pay Hurts. I just don't see how you're not going to pay Hurts after oh, the season to pay he just him. had. Yeah. yeah, he had a phenomenal season. He's going to get yeah. his money. So yeah. just a question of how much. I think he's going to look for Kyler Murray type money or better. Uh, yeah, they will, but they won't They won't feel the effects of that until the following year. He'll still be right. on that his last year, his he's rookie deal. So so it's that following year that it's going to really hurt us because then you got to turn around on Devontae Smith to an extension. Yeah, that's okay. when it started really hitting us in the salary cap. I apologize if I came on like real snappy. I'm just it, it frustrates oh, me because no, it's the good, fan of me. Good, the fan no, of me is upset. I'm, I'm upset. Yeah, I would be I'm, too. I would I'm, be. I'm too. Not <laughs> I would be too, bro. You good? <laughs> no, I'm, upset. I'm, unha- no. I'm unhappy after what happened. It was just you now for the Eagles. Watch. Fletcher yeah, Cox is you, probably going to retire. You showed up more than your team showed up. You're your fans had more energy than your whole team. Your yeah. team didn't have no energy. Yeah. I yeah. mean, so we understand why you're snippy because you had more energy than your whole team did right then. It's like the team forgot to show up last night and it was just they mental did. mistakes. Mental they mistakes did. while we lost. But so. then here you are. Everybody was saying Daniel Jones hasn't done an interception. What's he do? Throw it to the guy that you guys just got rid of. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just got used to it. And, <laughs> and you all said, we don't need this guy. So he went and proved the point. You don't need me. I'll take the ball away from you. You know? And no. then we stopped the running game. <laughs> Yeah. I wish Coach was still here. I wanted to say he made one of the best comments yesterday. It's not that you just lost. It's the way you lost. But then again, you yeah. had bad. That's why I'm coach. most upset. Yeah, because you pro- you were looking for a close game, even if it was something. Wait, cool cat, what is that, man? Still. Oh, I'm on my bed. I'm jogging my phone. Coaching was bad. Yeah, I'm on my bed, dude. Yeah, like, I, I, was was was. I was. It was. It was. It was. When you go for it, when you when you go for it on fourth and eight and not punt it 
and try to punt it out of bounds? That was stupid. But if you're going to give the Eagles a short distance, we're going to eat it up. And that's all we did. We, and we really didn't even – we really didn't even yeah. freaking throw the ball much. What we get, 100 yards throwing? Yeah. Um, we didn't use Miles Sanders as much either. He only got 96 yards. We are our backup About, running yeah. back. Our backup running backs is what you got you. My, yeah, only 150. Uh, Nikki, pop on in, bro. Nikki, pop on in. Because everybody thought he wasn't going to be able to run. Everybody said his shoulder wasn't going to be good enough. Did we, I mean, Jeff, I heard you say we kayfabe y'all. <laughs> what was it? Kayfabe. With Jalen Hurts' injury. Huh? <laughs> no, did you say on the Mac show? It was like we came. Well, I wasn't off. fooled by. It. I personally was never fooled by it. Anybody got fooled? If anybody that was fooled by Jalen Hurts having hurt, you're fooling yourself. Yeah, I did never thought the goo- the dude was hurt. I thought he was gonna be out <laughs> there no matter what. And anybody that believed that, then you're just not paying attention. I mean, seriously. You want to buy it for real, Jeff? I mean, I'm not even worried about. Here, let me let me let me change positions. My camera's starting to fuck up again. No, uh, I was not. I was not buying it one, one second okay. at all. I knew no, no. he was probably going to be was going to play, and he's going to be fine. But for me, when it comes that's to not even Eagles, me BSing tone. I'm being honest on that one. I never thought the yeah, no, no, that's what I want. Yeah, I was asking you for real, legitimately, like seriously. You know, you didn't think because I um late. It wasn't until probably evening, early Saturday, where I started thinking, like, man. I bet you Hurts is probably good right about now, <laughs> feeling real good <laughs> with no no problems. You know what I'm saying? And it could have been some gamesmanship to make people think he was he was hurt or whatever. But I ain't think it mattered because to me, I felt like y'all was going to come out and um, come out ready to go. I think where it caught caught y'all off guard and y'all was just stunned was just the, the two quick scores, you know, and then. You know, we scored. Y'all didn't come down and score because I had just mentioned on the show to have to. All right, we scored. I said, but Giants did this last week. If they come down and match for a touchdown, we may be in a dog fight. But that never happened. And then us going back down there and scoring again, I think your players are starting to like, oh, God, here we go again. Kind of attitude, you know. Um, and that's but the when Eagles they did take their foot off the gas. Yeah. They did. We did in the second half. But yeah, this is what I, I said that. before. The clock was our best friend. I don't care if we threw it, run it, just run the clock out and make sure no one got injured. I did it. I did. I was mad. <laughs> that time, just one of them to keep scoring the whole game. I was like, that's 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 they, they, they running the ball, bro. Really lost the game. That's where we lost the game. No, I don't want – my thing is don't take – We gave up 268 away. yards rushing. Russia, I don't man. want to take the foot off the neck. It's not our offense. I'm not even. It's not our offense. It's not our offense that I'm most upset about. It's the defense. We gave up 268 yards rushing, and you cannot win if you're giving up, up over 250 yeah. yards rushing on the ground. That is where we lost the game because we could well, not you stop your be, running you game. Be upset your offense. You your kicked offense our ass. Wasn't even get- That's where we lost this football game overall. In my opinion, we got to Yeah. Yeah. Now, when you talk about the Eagles free agents, like Jason Kelsey is probably going to retire. Fletcher Cox is probably going to retire. And there's the other top- players that I'm thinking of that are probably going to retire. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Oh, Lord. How you doing, man? Oh, hey, Lord. Jeff. I get a lot of courage to come in here as the lone with the wolf Why guys, guys, man. Nikki, so uh, I guess you're doing good, right? Uh, about, yeah. I'm going to let you. 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 I'm going to I'm going to let you. I'm I'm going to just do my thing. victory and good luck on who you play next. All right. Hey, Nick, well, oh, I, Nick, I got it fixed. Let, uh, put, um, that was me. Colin. Okay, Coles, I'll send you the link, bro. Old ones be in. I'll send you the link. Oh, Lord. Here, Cole. Lord. Cole. Nicky, <laughs> I want to hear his take on the 49ers oh, at Levi's oh, Stadium. Oh, 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 o
Get the job done and we'll talk, Cole. Nikki, it's your time to talk, man. Nikki, it's your time to talk. All right. Go for it. It's your time to talk, bro. All right, let's do this. So go for it. Awesome. Great performance, man. I mean, we knew the Giants. We had a feeling the Giants might put up a fight, but I honestly didn't expect us to blow them out like this. I, I, mean, I expect us to win, but I thought they'd put up a better fight. But so this exceed expectations, <laughs> even for me. So I'm <laughs> happy about that. I mean, we just the Russian game was what's the right word to say? Was spectacular. <laughs> it was I agree. It was like we were like Superman on the ground running the ball. You know, Kenneth Gamewell got in the rice, rub it in at the end. Giant killer Boston Scott did his usual giant killer thing. Miles Sanders had a nice game. I mean, and hey, the passing game was still effective too, man. You still had some nice plays there. So just all around good offensive performance. And isn't it sweet? You know, 38 to 7 on the five year anniversary of destroying the Vikings to clinch our last Super Bowl. Poetic, and I don't care if it's the Niners or the Cowboys, bring them on. We're ready. There you go, Nikki. There you go. I love it. And here is <laughs> what is he right. bringing the broom out for? <laughs> I'm just mopping the flow, you know, I'm just doing some cleaning. Oh, hey, you haven't done anything. I, I, I'm not trolling, I'm, I'm literally cleaning the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I just wanted to chime in, man. I ain't trolling. Y'all did y'all thing. Hey, congratulations, man. What can I say? We play today, you know what I'm saying? I'm focused on the 49ers, but, man, I said it on Twitter. I said that y'all was going to blow out the Giants, and I don't see it any other way. People thought I was trolling. People thought I was doing the reverse psychology. I ain't got nothing to lose. I don't like either one of y'all. So <laughs> hold up, hold up. You said before the game started on that preview show, you were sitting there all relaxed, like you say, oh, don't no. underestimate the Giants. And you were in yeah. favor of the Giants. I was like, hey, he didn't, he, don't he didn't pick the the Giants. He just said. He Cole just said, hey, they have a chance. Yeah, they that's all I was saying. That's all I was saying. They had a chance. But when I te- when I tweeted four days ago, I said, y'all was going to blow them out. And I knew it was going to happen because y'all did it before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wasn't impressed what they did with the Vikings. They was neck and neck with the Vikings. And we both blew that team out. Right. Oh, there man. you go, Cole. <laughs> that's what I was telling everybody. Like, yo. The Vikings played both of us and got them out. The Giants was the only one had two close games with them. There was no way they were going to beat us. Do you know what they missed up at though? The, the um, when I saw how this game was uh, was going to go is when Dayball went for it on fourth and eight. Oh, in early the first in the game. Yep. Yeah. Early in the game. He was scared. Yeah. That's fear. That's yeah. fear. He feared y'all so bad that he yep. jumped the gun so quick. He had yep. no faith. He had no faith in his defense. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So yep. I said and, it. And this yep. is how dominant y'all were. Jalen Hurts really wasn't the X factor of this game. He yep. made some great plays. He only threw the ball 17 times. Yeah. 124 yard pass. Yo, they act like yo, they act like he's doing 50 times. I was like, yo. He wasn't even. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was running with Gamewell, Boston Scott. Um, <laughs> he wasn't even using Boston like that much. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, this is a running game. Like, yep. Jalen Hurst wasn't even the X Factor of this game. He made some great throws. He made some yeah. great He yeah. made some great throws. And then you know what? He made a statement to throw their first play of the drive. Went yep. straight to um, what's AJ Brown? That's my freaking court yeah. back. That was, a, that was a statement throw. That hey, was a throw. That's bro. Now, y'all coach, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you, but, don't like Nick Sirianni. you and you Cowboy fans really don't like Nick Sirianni. I don't. <laughs> you know why they don't like Nick Sirianni? Because they know they're going to get that. You got to think about Sirianni. 
this is how I think about Sarah Young. I feel like he puts on the front because he in Philadelphia and he wants to have that Philadelphia mentality. I don't think that's who he truly is. Y'all know he's fronting. Why you got to be fronting, man? Stop, man. I love the motivation. Yeah, baby. Now that had me laughing, bro. <laughs> I was like, I was like with this one, I was like, hey, hey, I said, um, what was it? Yeah, I like um when you when you rather have Pizza Hut over uh Angelo. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I think Nick is having more fun than the players. Yeah, but hey, the coach said, hey, y'all having fun. Y'all handle the Giants. We got hey, Nick's there. We got Nick's there. Nick's there. Nick's there. We got to get an eye on Dude, he's on the side. Damn right, Cole. Yeah. You can't handle the 49ers, <laughs> man. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm not even, and I'm being 100%. I think the football guy's going to make it happen, bro. I think he went tonight and beat y'all. We've been talking about this all season. Oh, oh my God. Uh, you were talking about this all season, man. No I believe you no no Did you just say, you, you just said, you're, gonna did you just say you're gonna beat the Niners and you're gonna beat us? Really? I didn't say I didn't I said I believe we can beat the 49ers oh. and beat y'all in the NFC championship. Do you imagine how big that would be? It would be big. That would be huge for you. Oh, and, yeah, yeah well, especially oh, you needed for if we win you're in three your three house. Three. If we yeah, win it, we'll never that ain't happening. Happen, it's not going to happen. I if y'all have to play us in my mouth, house, that you guys will not even show up. I'm going to grow up in my we're mouth. We're going to need a SWAT team to get out you yeah. stadium. <laughs> <laughs> I would throw you know up. <laughs> yeah, as long as you know it, Coles, you know hey, it is my team. <laughs> I just got, I got a feeling that we're going to win tonight. I'm not even nervous because I feel like we're going to win tonight. You're not even. If y'all don't win this game, the clips I have, call. Oh my god! I, 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 I own up to it. I own up to it. But at the, I feel I like to y'all. Oh, I believe Cool right. Cat. I believe the words. The clips I'm gonna have of y'all, y'all pissed off. I'm telling y'all, y'all better not say nothing after y'all lose. Because remember, we beat ourselves, man. Hey, shout out to the Eagles, man. <laughs> I say don't say nothing if y'all lose. Oh. I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna screw you. Shout out to Jalen Hurts for his oh, first playoff victory. Yeah. Cole, are you doing a live for the game? No. Oh, I'm gonna do, do a post game show. Don't That's lose. A, I'll do a post game show. I ain't doing a don't live. Do you guys live I'm Cole. gonna get that screen recorder ready. Right. You guys want to? You guys want to know something? I'm streaming both games today with Jeff. I'm not even um I'm not even watching streams while I'm watching the game. Man, that's bad. Look, to do a live. I want you to do a live with the Dallas game. When they lose, when they lose, I just want that reaction. Boyd does not live either. You'll be working. You'll be live, man. Come on, I need that reaction from y'all. Let me tell you about about boys for life. Come on, man. Now, Now, boys for life, and I don't care if he watches. Boys for life, he nervous. He been quiet as hell, and he been he looking at be draft quiet. quarterbacks. No, trust me, he is nervous. He is. <laughs> Cole, Cole, let me tell you what he texted me. <laughs> he he, he texted been looking me, at quarterbacks in the draft already. No, he texted yeah, me. Yeah. He texted me this meme. How I'm gonna? How I'm gonna be coaching the Cowboys through my TV this Sunday? Yeah, I saw that. He's I, nervous. I saw, I saw when you showed that. I was like, I remember. His arms are sweaty. Knees weak. Last arms week, are heavy. There's vomiting on his sweater already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Earlier this hard. week, I was like, I was like, we about to handle. Bit. I was like, the 49ers haven't seen a Michael Parsons, and then, and then he had, he had tweeted me back and said, "Act like you've been there before." I'm like, bro, what? Man. He was to be quiet. I thought been there before. What? I was like, "What? You you want me to be quiet? I can't talk my trash." Like you sound kind of scared, bro. And he was like, "Man, just act like you've been there before." I'm like, "Bro, you scared, man? Man, man there's no need, you need to be scared, man." This, I this, could call him right now. I'll be like, "Yo, you scared?" This this it's is like I said when it comes Go to the playoffs, it. Cole. If y'all scared, get a puppy. <laughs> this is revenge. <laughs> Who can? Play the crime emojis because that's what we went through last year. We binge, bro. I don't care, man. 
Now let that happen again. Oh my god. They came to our house and made our thing. They came to our house. You won't be just mopping the floor. I'll tell you that, Cole. You won't be just mopping the floor. I'll tell you that much. Hey, my floor needs to be mopped. <laughs> Had to give that freaking South Park thing where he's licking the tears off the kid's face. I wish we had that first round See, Y'all got a nice ride to the Super Bowl, man. <laughs> I mean, just to yeah. rest and, and and put down on the Giants, man. All you had to do all all had the regular had season. I thought they would have gave y'all a fight. At least, at least try, man. The, the, the Giants gave held another week of rest. He ain't had to do much. We got a tough road. We had to play Brady. Now we gotta play the Almighty 49ers, man. Hold on, hold on. This is what boys is gonna say after the loss today. Well, we took another L. Oh damn! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's not talk prematurely about the Cowboys Niners because that hasn't happened yet. Wait, is well, he going live today for it? He's well, working. Why y'all don't want to play the Why don't want to play the Cowboys in the NFC Championship game? I want. Listen, I want. I it doesn't matter. It don't matter. All of y'all and your mama has got to come to the lake. Did you hear that crap? The Link ain't ain't veteran. The Link ain't veteran stadium. Y'all in trouble. The Link ain't veteran stadium, bro. (laughs) Hey, look. (laughs) No 700 level. Because I'll tell you what. The Link was way, way worse. (laughs) Veteran stadium. Veteran stadium ended ended careers. The Link just intimidated. (laughs) I mean, is y'all all happy and y'all celebrating? You know what I'm saying, but I rather I rather play away than at home because I feel like when my Cowboys are at home, I mean it's not a it's not an advantage. You know they got fucking Victoria's Secret store in the in the in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Like blame Jim Jones for that. Blame you know Jim Jones for that. You go get. Hold I on, think we more gritty when we when we away in the goddamn Dallas Cowboys Stadium. AT and T. That's what Cole said. No, yeah, they do. What the hell you got going on here? No, we got, we got a damn cell. You got all types of stories. What? We got a damn what the hell going on right here? We call them corporate cowboys because that's all he care about is making money at that stadium. He ain't trying we to. We tried to tell you that, Cole. We tried to tell y'all that. Victoria's Secret, bro. All about he got Victoria's money. Secret. You got Victoria's Secret story in there, real talk. Mm-hmm. I'd rather us be on the road, man. I don't mind going to Philadelphia and handling business. It makes it just as sweet when we hosting that NFC Championship trophy at our house. I ain't gonna go to the handle business first. You gotta handle business before you even pick. Yeah, I gotta handle 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 our business. You handle business. We gotta handle our business. All All that coming to Philadelphia thing is off cue. (laughs) <laughs> All that coming to Philadelphia being is cute, what? but if y'all don't handle that business, it don't it need squat. It ain't nothing. Cole, yeah, how are you gonna? How are you not gonna be on a live? We gotta see the reaction. Your okay, face man. It's, it's, it's bad luck. Last time I did a live, we lost. And ever since we won a live, we won a live, we won a live, we won a live, we won a live. Yo. Jake Snake, how you doing, bro? I gotta get you on for a show, man. How you doing, man? Much respect. Shout out to my guy, Jake the Snake Silver, the Snake Sports Talk Show. If you haven't yet, my mods, please put his link in the description. One of the best Chargers content creators out there. He does everything not just Chargers, but shout out to him, man. Hey, Mitch. Chargers. Hey, check your uh, DM on Twitter. I I sent something to you. I'm gonna let you. Uh, I'm gonna let you yeah, show. Right. They cold you. I'm hoping you're wrong. I've been holding this. Only but a couple people know I ran into it last week. But I've been holding this because I'm like, man, that was this leaked by accident. <laughs> but I, yeah, I sent I it to a, Mitch, and this yeah, came out after all the game played last week. Yeah, I have a coworker. Guys, anything to do with Skip on Bayless? I had a field day with him on yeah. Monday. No. The Skip yeah, Bayless nothing. up here talking. Hey, Eagles. Hey, hey, uh, we're hey. coming to y'all house and we're gonna beat y'all. What's up with Skip? Hey, J- hey just to be real, hey. we don't we don't claim Skip Bayless. 
<laughs> hey, <laughs> fella. Oh. hey, I was looking at the videos. I was looking up those stuff after all the games played last week, and then I saw this online, and I was like, "That's I." Oh my bad, my bad. <laughs> my bad. It, it, was, it was online. I said, yeah. "That's I." I said, "Are they really predicting, or they um leaking out the championship game by accident and putting the visual because like, all the games had played last yeah. week?" I think that's. I remember <laughs> this happened yeah. with right before the Eagles Vikings NFC Championship game. They leaked correct Patriots correct. <laughs> And so I was like, hmm, that's interesting. So I'm waiting to see if the Bills win today and Dallas win. I'm going to be like, oh, man. I don't like that cowboy background. I hope I hope it is Chiefs. And that means they'll come to Atlanta. And, man, the city going to be so hype. <laughs> but it, no, I think – aren't they playing both games, like, on the same day? Like, both mm -hmm. AFC and NFC? Yep. Yeah, we're at 3 o'clock. Yeah, yeah at 3 o'clock. I will say this. <laughs> I would. I was gonna go for to us. Serious. For us, it would be a great talk if it was oh, Dallas yeah. and the Eagles. And talk about and all for, season. For a whole week talking to you guys would be funny as hell. Boy, no, all season bragging rights, man. Oh. Like that'd be crazy. Now, okay, me. it's like this. If it is Cowboys and Eagles in the NFC Championship. You fought the Birds of Broad Street episode where all of us was crazy. For the <laughs> NFC Championship, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Cool, um, cool cat. Hold on a sec. If that happens, you got to put my channel on that. You have to put my channel on that. <laughs> no problem. No problem. No <laughs> I'm like, problem. I'm on there. I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all, if the Cowboys win this game and it's the Eagles-Cowboys roundtable, on the birds of Broad Street for the NFC Championship game. Oh my God, y'all think cool you gotta get me on there? <laughs> oh, right. hey, on there. Hey, how, highlight Bluebird for me. I got something to say. Hold on, I watch him on YouTube. I don't have <laughs> to. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Just to clear that up, that's, 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 that's an old joke. That's an old joke. We can watch him on YouTube. <laughs> right away, just let you guys know. I did send EC1 the link, so I don't know if he's gonna pop on in. Just letting you guys know, I sent him the link. EC EC1, calm down, man. He actually said something very pleasant to me last time when we beat the. I, I don't know what he probably was trolling. I said Dak is the top five quarterback. You know, I was just trolling when I said that, and he and he had replied, "Yup." I was like, somebody must have hacked his hacked his account because he would never say nothing like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. Nope. I've been watching. He's got he's calmed down. Yeah, he really he has calmed down. <laughs> Cause I was like, I mean, he hates now. He hates the Cowboys with the Dude, he used to come on the he man, he used to go on a rant <laughs> like nobody like he, I've ever seen. Yeah, he used to talk trash. I'm like, bro, oh, man. Hey, yo, man. Come on live, man. Hey, come on live, man. Yo, come yeah. on live. I DM you the link. I'll let you go ahead, East D1, because I'm thinking about going live for these up upcoming games. So let me get ready to set up and think about this. So go <laughs> on, handle business. Mitch, right, I'll see you tomorrow. Cat. We got tomorrow. to. It's be great. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Cool Cat Mitch post game. Birds of Broad Street. If it's the NFC Championship, I swear to God, call your mamas. I got a lot, of time. Be crazy. I got a lot of time. Call I'm your crazy. mamas. <laughs> Cole, I still want you to go live, dude. I just want to see your okay. reaction when you lose, man. Okay. Oh, I just DM'd you the link, bro. I just DM'd you the link. All right. Yeah, okay. I'm trying. I want my team to win. I can't jinx them. Last time it was a full blown jinx. I wanted to watch my my um during the games. I wanted to watch, you know, Mark Home. I'll be watching them. I said I can't watch him. I can't watch lot. I can't watch him. I'm gonna focus on this TV, and we won last week, <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> oh man! All right, I get it. You can't, you can't change your team. I get it. I can't fix it. Hey, we but haven't man, been. Be funny. We haven't been to an NFC Championship game in 27 years. I ain't trying to make it 28. <laughs> dude, dude, I'm 28. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a young pup, dude. Man. Wrong, dude. I ain't trying to make it 28, man. <laughs> I am. Oh, man. I haven't seen you guys in that, like my whole life. <laughs> well, I was a I witnessed one, so it was nice back then. I was young. How I was old are you? Huh? I was eight. 
but I witnessed it. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it is yeah. what it is. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I was raised in this. I, hopefully, I could be able to pass it on to my kids and say, hey, you know what I'm saying? I watched your little Super <laughs> Bowl wins with and all of them. I, I hated you. I just hated the Dallas hey, Cowboys. Hey, we was the Patriots back then, man. We was the I, I hated y'all. I just hated y'all. I mean, yeah. You when Mike Irvin broke his neck? Yeah. Oh, you talking about hitters? Yeah. I was I was cheering. I right? yeah. Oh god. Yeah, man. I know we no, were no, no, no. back then, but guess what? We got rid of him. Y'all fan, y'all, y'all feel y'all stadium into his career, man. Too far, man. Too far. Y'all veterans, veterans back then is like FedEx this year. I mean, this this time, you know, FedEx Fields ended a lot of quarterbacks' careers. Veterans ended a lot of players' careers, man. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like playing yeah. on concrete. That day go on turf. Yeah, yeah. That he took out right. Aikman. Mm-hmm. Listen, that turf oh, that turf dude. took out Randall Cunningham. I still got the game. Yeah. I could post it on my YouTube channel. You can watch that, it. That turf man, took I... out Randall Cunningham. Wait, you guys want to see something? There it is. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Sirianna was trying to be like Mike McCarthy. You know, McCarthy had his train on last week. Now. McCarthy was trying to be like Kirk Cousins. What are you saying? <laughs> Mike McCarthy had a train on last week, man. Yeah. So did Kirk Cousins the week before. <laughs> like everyone's mocking Kirk Cousins. Who put that train on? What player put that train on? Oh, I don't know. It's only like Garner Johnson's profile picture on Twitter. <laughs> I think he, it was gave it to, CJ he gave it to him. It had to be. I mean, it was the guy's oh, Twitter right. profile. <laughs> it's hey, y'all profile. going? Y'all had fun, man. Y'all gonna soak this in? We gonna we gonna see how, man. I, I, man I'm praying, bro. I'm praying <laughs> yeah, that I'm my praying. team. <laughs> Cole, Cole, guess what I'm making for the game All for right. your game. Cole, guess what I'm making? Then you ain't gonna go live. Or during the game, are okay. you gonna come live? Okay. I'll go live after the game. After the I'll game. go live after the game. I ain't going live All during right. the game. I'm gonna be too focused. Yeah. Why you won't go live? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm scared, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. I cannot do that. You should Last time I went live, just like boys for life. Uh, Blue Bird, you gotta go back to the yeah. NFC Championship game next week. He's not even posting no video. Trust me. Do it. Dude, I have to. He's working like crazy. He would text me like 2 in the morning and be like, yo, I just got home. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoa. I know what that's like. Yeah, I know. I don't work weekends. <laughs> I don't work all weekends. I don't have a job right now. I'm my apartment. I'm planning on moving to an apartment next month. So it's like he ain't got a job, but he about to move out of mommy and dad's house. Uh oh. Nah, I'll get the job as soon as I get the apartment. No, you won't. That's I backwards. Know. I know. I know. That's I backwards. Like, the, place, the place where I want to hire, they're not hiring, so I just gotta wait. These dog going on um, apartments, man. They they hired in um having a house, man. Like it's crazy. Yeah, they're they're expensive. Yeah. They, yeah, they scams too, man. Apartments are scams, man. I used to, I used to work for collections for like apart rental properties. Oh, man, these landlords, bro, they 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 ruthless. <laughs> oh yeah, I know that. Fixing that, but what the fuck are you gonna fix? Dude, they be having like they be having like uh balances of like six thousand dollars because they didn't do like a check out check you know have them do a check out before. Before you leave the apartments, they got that in your contract, and they can charge you whatever they want. They be talking about walls need painted, and I like for six thousand dollars, <laughs> like y'all tripping, man. But yeah, they stands, man. Dang. That's how. Oh, I, man. I was like, get a house. <laughs> get a, get a, That's get a, ridiculous. Man. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. man. And especially out here in Atlanta, man, it's a lot of scams out here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh I man, I read that contract when I signed that time. Man, I read that thing thoroughly before I put my name down on that piece of paper. 
Because they're gonna say they're not gonna say a word. They're gonna let they're gonna be nice to you when you leave, and then a few months later, you know what I'm saying? You get a letter in the mail, mm-hmm. and then you like, hey, I thought I thought we was cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how they get you. <laughs> That's how they get you. Mm-hmm. I'm hey. just gonna ask you guys this. Does it feel like it doesn't feel like Sunday to me? It feels like Monday. It feels like Sunday to me. It feels like Sunday to me right now. Who y'all think gonna win against the uh the Bengals and the Bills? I got Bills. I got, got Bills. I, dude, I have to say though, I'm so glad our game was yesterday, and I we can relax today. Yeah, let's be nice. <laughs> right. I know Cole. Cole's, Cole's has been Thanks. waiting. Well, I got with the yeah. six thirty, man. I got, I got Cincinnati. I think Joe Burrow. Think and, uh, yeah, I think. Joe I think Burrow. the Bills kind of the kind. Oh, man. nice, I think they, nice man. Awesome. I went in two thousand seventeen. Damn, terrible. Cincinnati lost two offensive linemen for this game. It was man. the best know. time you know, ever. But they, they made it to Super Bowl without them, man. Yep. Yeah, they did. So, uh, it's gonna be a good game. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm looking forward to watching it. But man, tonight is gonna be just up. Look, you look at Cole's face. You know he's I'm nervous. nervous. He's like, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little Cole's, nervous. Cole's, Cole's. If you, I'm if you could, I'm nervous. and you had the money to go, and someone would pay for your trip, would you go to the NFC Championship game in Philadelphia? Would you go? I don't know. I talk go tailgate. You gotta go tailgate all day for eight hours. I talk a lot, especially on tailgating. I talk a lot, a lot of trash on Twitter. And my pictures on my profile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> somebody go, Rick. Somebody go, Rick. You gonna get your ass whoop. <laughs> hey guys, I think I gotta play something. This is Cole's favorite song. And uh, he left. Yep. He said, hell with that song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get some earplugs. I was tired with that song last night. He was done with it. Oh, oh, no. You know, um, <laughs> yo, guess who was doing the – Michael Buffer was doing the gritty at the link. <laughs> really? <laughs> I might clip that and put it into a story. <laughs> Michael Buffer was doing the gritty. I was turned, man. I was turned to that at that game, but – I, I said I, I said one day I'll go to a um a game in Philly. In, in Philly, you know. Hey, just, can you just imagine just, what it's gonna be like if y'all play us in the NFC championship game? It's gonna be ruthless, man. <laughs> That's why I would I would I wouldn't do it. My wife wouldn't even want to go. Because <laughs> she's gonna be like, nah, bro. You know, it's gonna be too much out there. I said I, I probably I, I kind of welcome it, you know what I'm saying? But I just think it's gonna be too much of a hostile environment. Now it if I go by myself, will be. It'll be a hostile environment. I'm gonna have to have. I'm gonna have an ultimate. Is it Peter's to doubt? <laughs> it, it definitely will oh, be a hostile is it environment. Peter's to doubt. Yeah. Huh? Jason yeah, Peter's, Peter's is out. out. Yeah. 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 He out. He, you always say I'm surprised um, about that. I think it hurt That's me. a pretty. Yeah. It's hurting. But it ain't a big. It's not a big hit. It's not a big hit. He oh. he helped us a lot, but we'll be fine. He 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 been mostly of like a part time. Player for us anyway. He has never been fooled. Someone Are you sure about uh, that? Knowing that you're facing a top a defense in the 49ers, you're going to be blitzing and getting to Dak all day today. And they got to step up. Yeah, but I, I know. I know. I know. A play design for Dak that the coaches, especially, uh, and uh, I expect a big game today, really, with Dan Quinn. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, if anything, you guys will really have to stop. Uh, the 49ers offense and uh, contain their uh, points and then uh, just be able to score more points. And then that's the only way I can see you pulling out a victory here is you're just going to have to shut down their offense. Yeah. Like the biggest challenge, the biggest challenge is stopping the run game. If we can contain Christian McCaffrey and Debo Samuel, we can make it manageable. I'm not really concerned about George Kittle. He can make some plays with J. Ron Curtis. He is questionable, but he's going to play. I'm not worried about that. He, he's going to play. 
he can contain George Kittle. He did a great job last year in the last playoff game. He did a great job against Travis Kelsey. He'll do a good job against some a good job with him too. But one thing about the 49ers, their weakness is running on the edges and tight end play. They cannot defend a tight end. So we got three of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if Kellen Moore, which is my X Factor, go in his bag. Use Tony Pollard. You know what I'm saying? You get um use uh CD Lamb and great explosive plays and use his tight ends for good. I ain't, I'm not mine gonna... is, um yo, mine is Dak. Can he actually yeah, not throw an interception? He did it last week. We'll see if he could do it again this week. <laughs> 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 I believe in Dak, but I think Dak in his bag. Do you think oh Kittle will have Boy, a bigger game today, unlike he did with the of uh, the Seattle Seahawks, where he only recorded two? For 37 yards. Do you think Kittle will have a bigger day today? I think we can manage Kittle. I don't think I, I really believe we can manage Kittle. Um our thing is we have to uh use check somebody that people don't even really think about a lot. And he can make he can make a big impact in the game. So we gotta also look out for him because he, he can drive a good running game. He's a great blocker, and that dude can catch the ball too. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta contain him, but right. also also, the biggest thing is to make Brock Purdy uncomfortable because he's been super comfortable against some of these teams that have questionable defenses. You know what I'm saying that they play. I know it's a weakness, and we got a Michael Parsons that's fast that can get to the quarterback, especially him because he's not no he's not no scrambler. He, he can run in the pocket, but he can't run outside the pocket. So if Michael Parsons make him uh, uncomfortable. We can, we can win this game. Can That's Michael Parsons not... get there? Huh? I said, can Michael Parsons get it there? Even the, it ain't even the fact that he's showing up lately. He, well, he was a big impact when we played um, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I know what y'all guys say, you know. But if we, if we can make it fair, the Giants is sweet and the Seahawks is sweet. So I think we all kind of, you know what I'm saying, in the same – in the same category of beating sweet teams, right? So I believe that Michael Parsons, he don't have to have a sack. He just needs to apply pressure, make him uncomfortable, hit him. You know what I'm saying? Hit him after he throw the ball. I'm sure he don't like that. He he hasn't got that a lot. So, let you know, throw him off his game. I oh, my that. God. I just saw what OBJ tweeted 17 hours ago. He just goes, fly, Giants, fly. What? Uh, he, said, he said fly eagles fly. He said fly giants fly. Oh, man, man, I missed he that. He needs to just zip his <laughs> mouth. Does he need I mean, he's not even on the team, man. Like, <laughs> he's not even on the team, man. Like, I'm, I'm over this. I'm, I'm glad. I'm kind of glad we. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we didn't even get this guy. Because I was like, man, he probably would just still brought a little drama. I mean, I'm not saying he's drama, but he, he is. You know what I'm saying? He brings too much attention, you know, and and he's still hurt. He is. That's why yeah. teams ain't got him. So, <laughs> yeah, that dude. And then I think he over talking about he's going to be a giant now. So, I mean, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> he wants to be anywhere that they're going to pay the man. Yep, that's what it is. And that's why he probably kissing up to the Giants because they can give him a bag. Hey. I got a real interesting fact here, if I'm correct. Okay. The past three – and the past time – three times you guys went to the NFC Championship, 1994, 1993, 1992, you beat the 49ers three times in a row really? in the really? NFC Championship, 94, 93, 92. Really? And, and every time – 1991, the 49ers beat you in the NFC Championship game. And then you guys beat them back in 72 in the NFC Divisional game. Yeah. And, and then you beat them uh, okay, in okay. 71 in the NFC Championship game. And then back in 70, you beat them in 1970 in the NFC Championship game. So, man, how many total is that? One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six. You guys have faced each other six times in the NFC Championship game and one time in the Divisional. Yeah, I think we had a total of like nine uh, playoff appearances against each other, which is like tied for the most in the NFL. Right. But um, one thing, another thing too, and I ain't trying to bump my chest. This is just history. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. 
every time we beat the every time is either either or. If whenever we beat each other in the in the in the playoff, well, back then the NFC Championships games, we automatically was a shoe in the Super Bowl. Well, we got some history that can repeat itself. <laughs> But this was a divisional game, so the last time they faced the division was 72, and the Cowboys won 30-28. to 28. It was at San Francisco, too, and it was the only divisional game they ever faced. So we can't talk about 1972. Can't yeah, talk about that's a long time. But it is cool to learn about the previous history of when you guys have faced each other. Yeah. Just to yeah. know what the outcomes were. To Yeah. I don't know, just like stats. Rivalry reading Nothing to do with this game. Yeah, in the 70s, the 49ers weren't really a, a, a good team. They they didn't have a, they didn't make a name for themselves. You know, they were just right. a team. They made their name when they were in the 80s, mostly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, John Montana, John Montana, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's when they made John, their name. Gary <laughs> right. That's when they made their name. Right. Uh-huh. We automatically had our name in the 70s. The, 49, the 49ers <laughs> weren't really that good back in the day. Yeah, they, they weren't good in the 70s. They were great in the 80s. Yeah. And they were good in the 90s too, but they phased off a little bit with, with uh Steve Young. But yeah, I mean, hey, it's crazy because now it's coming back. You know, that's why our rivalry is so strong in the playoffs. It always comes back. It phased off in um the 70s. And then in the 70s it start when in the 60s. Yes, it they do, Bobby. Yeah, yes, 60s started phased off a little bit in the 70s because we own them. And they came back in the 80s and then in the 90s and then it phased off throughout the 2000s. Now we're in the 2020s. You know what I'm saying? Let's see, man. <laughs> but, hey, I can say this. I hate 49er fans way more than I hate Eagle fans. Now, really? 49er fans. Really? I can't stand the Cowboys. <laughs> and, and, they and, cocky, I, 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 I can get a, a deal with all, any other team in the whole thing. I just can't deal with the Cowboys. They cocky, man. They they um they basically walking in. Oh yeah, we're gonna play the Eagles in the NFC champion. Like like we're nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like they taking this game <laughs> so lightly, man. Like they are uh, in South Jersey, the Cowboy fans, they will jump off the bandwagon and whoever's going to the Super Bowl. They go, that's their team for the thing. I haven't seen any. Mm-hmm. I've only seen one Cowboys fan in my life in my area. Really? And that was when the, you guys played the Buccaneers last year in the first game. I so many <laughs> Cowboys fans near me. It's unreal. I see one. Yeah, I know some Cowboys. Oh, yeah, I'm and, dude, it was my best friend's birthday. And I was like, dude, can I go bug him a little bit? He's like, Mitch. I want to get you home in one piece. I don't want you to get, come home in a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, man. I, I still bust him about that. I'm like, bro, I'm going to knock that guy out. Like, what are you talking about? Oh, my God. Yo, hey, shout man. out to the 15 in here. We've been live for almost an hour and a half. Shout out to Coach. Oh, man. <laughs> shout out to Jeff. Seriously. I got to stream with Jeff for both games today. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, man. I Jeff I came in. Close to the reaction thing, <laughs> nah, it ain't gonna happen, man. Not during the game, cause I. Hey, hey. <laughs> he made me and Cool Cat go viral. So for that, I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was funny though, <laughs> cause at that first was I had did, that was good. At first, I had did Bird Gang and JC, and it went viral. Right. And I was like, I gotta get y'all too. <laughs> 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 like, I, I loved it. I was like, hey, it was a win win, man. It was a win win. It helped me. It helped Long me. Boost my followers. He gave me my link. He hasn't done anything with them. I'm like, what the fuck? He said it was a win win. I made fun of you. It I, helped me get my followers. I got followers. I hit it a thousand. <laughs> I've been losing followers. <laughs> oh, I get it. I've been I'm gaining. Like 100 and something. But it's just like, bro, we could. I unfollowed from five thousand to under a thousand, and some really? of them saw them all salty and unfollowed me. Wow! <laughs> like I, I haven't really, I haven't really been losing followers. Just I'm surprised. Now I had to block a few, a few runs, <laughs> but you know, right. I, blocked, I mean, I blocked the ones yeah, that don't even. Yeah, that I'm not even following. You know, <laughs> normal guy. You miss the commander song. Why would you 
put that on here? Yeah, they're not in this. Man, I missed the commander song. What do you want no, from me? Because guess what? They're, they've been sitting on the freaking couch all. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> now the, hey, I just realized Jeff was on the couch. I just realized that. Yeah. Yeah, real. Cool. Oh, was on the couch yesterday. The Empire <laughs> didn't strike back. <laughs> I was on the couch because I was just relaxed. <laughs> I won't be on the couch tonight, though, no, because I'm going to be standing up the whole game. He's going to pace. I'm gonna be Return back. of the Eagles. You motherfuckers better wait because I ain't going to hear the end Wouldn't of this. the Cowboys be the Empire <laughs> striking back if that were to happen? Oh, my God. If we it's was only to if lose, that were to happen. We was to lose, man. I would have been nervous if we would have been playing at home. Who I would have been nervous? I want us to be there. Yeah, why is why did y'all not play that good at home sometimes, man? I don't know, man. Dude, I, I think that's know. an old myth. That's a Romo thing. That I don't think recently that I mean oh, you're going off the wild card game last year. You can blame your coaches for that. Yeah, yeah. Kellamore. Kellamore was awful. Um and we we committed like 14 penalties. We didn't deserve it. Yeah, my bad. We, we, um, we're ranked eighth in penalties this year. We're much better on penalties. Like, who's that Peckerwood penalties. White coach that you got that goes back and forth, going crazy <laughs> on the him. field? That old guy. You're talking about our special team coach, Bone? Yeah, he's, Bone dude, he's on something. He's got to be on something. What is he on? <laughs> I like his energy, but that dude, he been he been kind of like sus this year. Like last year, he was in his bag. Like we were blocking punts. We were returning kicks. We were doing like you know what I'm saying? This year, like, we hadn't done none of that. Like, we haven't been, like, explosive on special teams at all. Oh, really? and, and, and Turpin is the most overrated player on the team. I mean, he all pro, and he in the Pro Bowl, and he not he didn't return not one kick. He he did nothing. He did all that in the preseason. In the preseason, <laughs> in the preseason man. I've never seen it. I'd rather – shoot, y'all special teams person probably got more props than him. Ours hasn't Our been that off. special this year at all. That's what I'm saying. Ours haven't either. <laughs> no, no, no. We, Cole, we can't get five yards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is true. Our, our shit's bad. <laughs> like, 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 don't get, be wrong. Get, he get 15 – he'll get 15 yards in one game and pump his chest like, yeah, I'm a man. Has he, has he milk points in, in kick in kicks? Because yeah. ours have. Yeah, he must he like muffed, three he of them. Nothing but. <laughs> he must like three of them things, man. He's over there pumping his chest. If he got five or six yards, like, yeah, I'm the man. No, you're not. Go no away. <laughs> he always like, whenever he make a bad play, like, I don't want to hear see all that, man. Like, go to the sideline, man. <laughs> like, that's, that's like, he can't do nothing. And then and they try to put him in the game plan to do like trick plays, like reverses. He's supposed to be super speedy. Man, it, like it never works. And then he's looking crazy. I'm like, man, get off the field. I, I lost faith in you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like you, you, you were supposed to be all world, and we haven't seen it. And like every week I see Cowboy fan, man, Turpin going to take one to the house today. <laughs> I, they say it every week, every game. I, and the, like somebody said that, I said, please stop. He's not going to do nothing. We need what, to end this. Do you know any celebrities that are going to this game for the Cowboys 49ers? Any know. big it's games? In, man, it could, man. It's in California, too. Yeah, it's going to be some. That's yeah. what I'm saying. There's got to be some famous be some people celebrity. showing up. So, Cole, yeah. what's the score going to be? I don't even know. It's going to be a close one. It's probably going to be in the 20s. I, think it's no. I give you that. Just to let you know, we said that about the Giants last night. <laughs> we we ain't getting blown out. I ain't trusting <laughs> no score predictions anymore. I'm not yeah. doing <laughs> it. I'm, I'm not a prediction, right. but I know it ain't going to be no problem. Guys, have a great day. All right, now. Have a good one, man. Are you going to get more than seven points? <laughs> of course. We scored. Like, <laughs> okay, so you're not gonna get blown out like the Giants. We are not getting blown out. <laughs> I think we are not be, getting blown out. But let me I just say this: man. between fourteen and ten. Let me just say this: the Raiders have to go in overtime with this team, and nobody said that. 
They let them. Yeah. They let them slide. The Raiders. We but come on, man. <laughs> this team ain't unstoppable, bro. Nah, that's why I wanted. The, I wanted the 49ers yeah. just because their defense. Everybody keeps on praising their defense. I'm yeah. like the media. The media is praising them like they like unstoppable. The Seahawks, if they didn't wet the bed in the second half, had them on the hook 17 to 16 in halftime. <laughs> you, know? I mean, you know, it's so crazy because even if we, let's say hypothetically, we whoop your ass in the NFC championship or we whoop the 49ers ass in the championship and we go to the Super Bowl, the media will still say, oh, well, the only reason they got there was because they had such an easy schedule. They've not got no chance to win the Super Bowl. They still won't give us any chance of that we're going to win the Super Bowl, even if we whoop the complete living crap out of the 49ers. They will still be against us. They will even always though, be even against though we us. Have the best record. No one likes us. We don't care. <laughs> hey, hey, we got something com- coming because they don't like us either, man. They, man, Stephen A. Smith had the whole cast out at Tampa. He had a Tom Brady jersey. <laughs> no, he was not going to beat. It isn't saying y'all are not going to beat the Ford and, uh the 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 Pepper Bay Buccaneers. No, he he's the guy that cried. <laughs> hey, come here. Yeah, like he was. Wait, like he was having the time of his life. For us. He was nowhere to be found after the game. You know what I'm saying? Now he's turning around. Oh, y'all not beating the 49ers. And then doing doing the little theme song. I'm like, okay, keep doing your thing, man. I, we okay. love. You know, one thing we like about Cowboys, we we love when they pick against us. We that's like if they picked us, we would be worried. You know what I'm saying? We're just gonna be real. I don't like to be picked. When they have all those things picked against us, that's the best thing they ever had. Yeah, well, well wish my wife got another word. Well, we took another L. <laughs> I tell you one thing I remember about Cole Beasley back on your team. Didn't he get oh, into yeah. like rapping? He was like yeah. getting into hip hop, making music videos. I was like, dude, maybe you should focus on your football career. Cole Beasley, man. <laughs> I know he's on the Bills now, but yeah, he 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 messed up his whole relationship with the Cowboys when they didn't when they decided not to re-sign him, and he got all in his feelings. Then he went to the Bills, and then he was talking talking about the Bills facility is way better than Dallas's, and I'm like, really. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. I like, bro, man. I understand you hurt, but don't lie. And then, yeah, don't lie. yeah right, right. And then, now, yeah. And then, and then he, um, when he was a free agent, he wanted to come back to Dallas. He said he wanted to play with Dak, but I'm like, bro, you know you're not gonna come to Dallas because you over here, you know, voicing your political, you know. Feelings about the vaccine, which hey, I understand, but Jerry Jones cut Amari Cooper because of that crap. So what do you think he gonna do with you? <laughs> right. He cut Amari Cooper because Cooper missed two games because he wasn't vaccinated. And he and he just <laughs> he just threw a hundred million dollars out the window. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's how that's how much he don't <laughs> care. And with us making it to the divisional round of playoffs without him. I mean, they definitely pumping they, beating their chest now. Like, yeah, y'all was crying when we traded them, and look where we at now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm yep. still mad about that crap. <laughs> if we had Cooper, man, we – man. Whew. Yeah, if you had Cooper, you would have been a whole lot better team. Man. You would have been a, a whole lot better team. Dak would have less interceptions. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, because mostly because we were lying on half of those interceptions was because of Noah Brown and Peyton yeah. Hennessy having the you know what I'm saying, Amari Cooper when he had them ricochet, uh, ricochet passes, he caught yeah. them, you know what I'm saying? He, but for some odd reason, yeah, Noah Brown just it, it hits him in his arms like that dude should have caught that. Hey, that's yeah. that he, he's not the receiver that you want to put the game on, like when the game's on the line. You don't want to put him in. He gonna mess it up for you. So why would you throw it to him though? I don't know why they threw it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, just just give CD Lamb like a 50 50 ball or something, man. Who do you do you, you think Schultz will have a big day today? He needs to. He needs to because that's the 49ers' weakness. It's it's they really a good play calling game. Really needs to see Schultz today for tight end. We, 
Yeah, we need 12 and 13 personnel heavy. We need Tony Pollard running, not Zeke. Zeke can run a, a little bit, but Tony Pollard needs to be the lead back. You know what I'm saying? And we need CeeDee Lamb to be be dominant. CeeDee Lamb got to stick on. We do that, we win the game, man. And, and, and Dan Quinn's defensive guru-ness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Michael Clark, he's in the press box. Yeah. They always put the camera hey, on. One thing I have to say about y'all, I know y'all complained about Jonathan, Jonathan Cannon, but he was in his bag last night. No, he, that was the best he did all year. <laughs> Maybe that's all, all y'all needed, man. Yeah, I have to agree. I have to agree. Jonathan Gannon really surprised me. Yeah, he was playing wow. he took his corners. He was playing. So, uh, he wasn't playing too far off. Of the yeah. Ball. He was normally they're getting, he's giving them 10, 12 yards. Yeah. Why the hell are you doing that when he only need five? <laughs> but, yeah, he played his best game. He coached his best yeah. game yesterday. I hope I need him. I need him to do it two more times. Okay, <laughs> it's not going to yeah, be fifty-four to nothing. Really? Right. <laughs> I, I, I just looked at that. And, I just looked at that and said, "Oh, okay." But you know what's great about being in the Super Bowl with having a top defense is how many commercials there are and how many breaks that you can give your defense to recuperate, especially in yeah. the Super Bowl. It really yeah. comes down when you're in the Super Bowl and you have a dominant defense, it comes in handy, yeah. especially in the Super Bowl when you get that break. So if things don't work out on offense, at least your defense has some time to get back on the field and your coaches to reevaluate the game plan and make some offensive changes. Yeah. yeah. The, big, the biggest the biggest weapon in the playoffs is time of possession. You know, time of possession, if you got that on your side – I mean, that's all you yep. need, man. You keep it. Right. Keep, keep that that's basically in the what we were in the second half. We said you ran yeah, the ball the fucking ball. time. Yeah, y'all ran the ball a lot. That's all. Y'all <laughs> ran the ball the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's what I was saying. The whole entire time. Like, yeah, we ain't passed it. We're just going to keep on running. Halftime was over the ball. screen before pass the whole game. <laughs> Man, after halftime, I was ready to go to bed. Like I was like, "This is over." <laughs> they can't stop the run. Like y'all did with it. I remember when y'all was about to go for two on them, and y'all didn't do it. And I was like, "They going for two, and they already up. They have no respect for them." <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we didn't do it either. But uh, yeah, I was worried too. I, I, was like, Yo, what the heck? <laughs> I thought I, I really I thought that was what we were doing. It. <laughs> I was like, we were, we were just, I was like, yeah, they, they have no respect for the Giants. <laughs> no respect. <laughs> yeah, we don't like, Gi- like Giant fans, man. I, I tuned in on on uh, Mac the Giants fan and they stuff. I looked at they it. They like over cry that day. Tell us to be I'm like, man. they was just like, what? I, you know what I'm saying? And to be honest. I believe that they probably didn't think, you know. I think I believe they believe they were gonna probably have a chance of winning, but I, but I, I just, they just didn't expect it to be that bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's that's the most really frustrating good. part. Man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, nobody it expected it, that ass woman to be like that. Man, in a playoff game, <laughs> but I, think like early, early. I think that's like the worst. Performance in playoff history. We yeah, did no, really but we did no. We did this at the really NFC Championship game against the Vikings. We won a, thirty-eight to seven yeah, in do, Philly yeah, in the do, NFC. Not. I was there. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was magical. It was, it was the best <laughs> game I've ever been to for an NFC Championship game to go and say we're going to the Super Bowl after a thirty-eight to seven win. I was, dude. I was outside. There were fireworks going off in the parking lot. People were dancing. I was walking around with a camera, and people just wanted to be on camera. They were dancing and having the fun. Dude, it was like a block party. It was the funnest. The afterwards was just so – it was just a party. Everyone, Everywhere you went, left, right, behind you, forward, was a party. Everyone was just in the street dancing. I had a guy crawling me. He must have been 50 years old crying, going, you don't understand what it's been like to be a real Eagles fan back in the 70s and the 80s. It was hard for y'all, man. I'm like, it was brutal. brutal. You're killing my vibe right now. Y'all first. It was was brutal, man. Lawrence Teller and them used to eat us up, bro. I used to be so mad, man. I mean, back then. When they had Emmitt and and Michael Irvin and Troy, bro, I was sick and tired of Nate. 
man, I was tired of them boys just running all over us, man. It was like you couldn't block. Like, what's uh, what's his name? The, the um, officer, uh, Nate who? Nate Newton. Nate Newton. Larry. We had the best offensive line. Larry Allen. Yeah, that man, was the best offensive them, line in football history. <laughs> like what the hell? I was like, man, this is crazy, bro. Hey. And, then, and like we had to deal with fog bowl. Yeah, it man. Like, look. Yeah, oh, yeah. Gosh. it was like. Yeah, I watch a freaking Super Bowl now. They had the lights go out. They say, "Oh, time out. We got the lights out, dude. We had fog. You wouldn't. You didn't do that for us." That, that, that was y'all. That, that was Buddy Ryan's fault too, because they the referees did ask that they want to move to you know postpone. The they game. need it too, bro. You couldn't see. You're looking <laughs> at it at home, face, and you dude, couldn't see. You know, they well, couldn't, they couldn't see. see out there. And they were fans <laughs> pissed off because they couldn't see the game. That's how. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, was they should running through the mist. They yeah, they were so tired. Buddy Ryan and um and um shoot, what's that dude's name? You, you know, I'm like, Bears coach. Uh, yeah. they they were so cocky with each other. I mean, they they had a beef. The beef they was so strong. They didn't, they 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 didn't care about what the weather was, was, man. I was like, oh, man. man, but yeah, hey, I, bro, you can't see nothing. But and then I remember that run y'all made. Y'all made that run uh, when I. On uh, Jerome Brown had passed, and they had that shrine yeah. from him. Yeah, y'all made the run. Y'all beat the, y'all beat the crap out the Saints, and then y'all came to Dallas, and we had to win. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Hey, hey, y'all came a long way, man. I'm sick of it, so that's why I'm, I enjoy every moment I get right now because. Yeah. I have Dude, a lot of heart. Oh, you know, especially when you grow up and every single year you hear Cowboys, Redskins, Giants can go. You can't yeah. talk. You don't have a ring. Yeah. Who are you yeah, again? Like the Eagles? You speak when you get a Super Bowl ring every yeah. year. Yeah. Man, year. I, used to use yeah. I used to use the we, memes whenever y'all had like the, we had the rings and y'all had like the, the ring pops. Yeah. I had to tie it out. yeah. Oh, my. I remember <laughs> that. Y'all used to yeah, put yeah. a trophy oh, case and I'm it would like, just be. Bro, hey, that I, was pushing, I wanted to push the freaking guy's damn computer. I'm like, bro, that was when Arizona was in our division. I'm telling you, it was, it was Phoenix it was at the time, right? Yeah. Or St. Louis. Well, what was their name before the. um? They were St. Louis and they became the Arizona. They were St. Louis. Yeah. They became yeah. the Arizona Cardinals too in our division. Yeah, but Phoenix, man, I'm 80, bro. We was always at the bottom of the division in the '80s because you had even Washington had a few years when they was good with mm-hmm. dang on John Riggins and Art Monk and all of them. Yeah. Man, we was getting yeah. smacked, bro. Even the Houston yeah. Oilers had a better team than we did. Dude, that was when the, uh, they weren't called the Wizards. The Washington basketball team was called the Bullets. I missed that. Oh, yeah, the Washington yeah. Bullets. Yeah. The Bullets. Yeah. And they had to get rid of it because the, the epidemic in D.C. was so bad and the violence, they kind yeah. of changed the yeah. name. Yeah. Of the changed the name. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. D.C. Yeah, was right. one hell of a place in the 90s. If you ever went to D.C., it was not yeah. like today. Today, it's like Disney World walking around. <laughs> Mitch is over here like, what the it's hell are these boys talking about? <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, dude, man. I'm on my phone right now. I just don't even know what you guys are saying. <laughs> it was dangerous in DC. Uh, Daddy's nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to. I used what? to live. I used to live near DC. I used to live in Silver Spring, Maryland. Oh, man. Dude, that's where Dave Chappelle's from. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I used to live out there when I was a kid, man. Hey, let me tell you something. I'm from. I'm originally from Mississippi. In the south, you know, we, we, we nice out here, bro. In middle school, <laughs> it was crucial out there. In the and I'm like, man, y'all like, like I walked down the hallway, put one person pushed me on my shoulder, didn't say excuse me, man. That I got in the most fights. I was like, man, y'all feel different out here, man. <laughs> yeah, I was like, man, this how y'all roll out here, man. But hey, I need to come back out there. Real man, to catch a oh, I hated that game when the Bucks and the um Panthers. Uh, I see Bobby down there talking about All the right. Bucks and the oh, Panthers. Yeah. When All they, right, when they, I, uh, think gonna... the <laughs> All right. I think I'm gonna end it here. Oh, wow. I'm gonna oh, end it here. Game. Yeah, I gotta get ready for the, for the game. Game. Oh, game. <laughs> I gotta get ready for the first game, and uh, Jeff is gonna be upset. And I'm just gonna be wearing this. I'm not gonna play the fly or fly. I don't know, man. Hey, Jeff, what really bothers me what Jeff said, I'm gonna say this, and he said we weren't supposed to be here. Dude, 
That means you didn't want to win this game in the first place. I mean, look, <laughs> like, that's why you asked that kid. <laughs> yeah, he's just going through the emotions of the loss. He's trying no, to he think that before the loss. Right now, man. He hurt right now. He said yeah. it before the loss. He was already making his escape route. Yep, he's been saying that all week. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, hey. Hey, what's, up, Mr. Birds? Hey, hey, what's good? Hey, what's good? Hope all is well. Yeah. Go birds. So. Let's go birds. I'm gonna play that song and we're gonna head on out. Make sure you guys hit yeah. that like, hit that subscribe, subscribe to my guy Coach Cowboys, subscribe to everybody on this panel, bro. And we are yeah. out. If you guys have anything to say, say it now. Go birds. I'm Can't out, man. Go birds. I'm out Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to say tonight. Up with his ass. You're going to say it All tonight. Right. <laughs> All right, guys. We are out. And let's go, Barnes. We're out. Peace.